What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about Nev Campbell once again. The regurgitation she had earlier today with People Magazine about why she didn't return to the franchise while also slightly elaborating on it. How she feels she was undervalued and going on about how if she were a man she would not have been treated like this. Talking about how she felt she needed to stand her ground and defend what she felt was her self-worth and what she brings to the table. Again just going over how what she brought how the offer that was presented to her did not equate to what she has represented to the series over the past 25 years which again i fully respect someone who will stand up for what they think they are worth however the thing that i know a lot of people will ignore because a lot of people will want to hone in on these comments they don't want to hear about these other comments they want to hear about these negative comments they don't want to hear these comments she has some other comments with entertainment tonight where she basically gave a pat on the back and shared comments about her respect for Matt and Tyler, Radio Silence, and she wished them luck with the upcoming movie. She also paid respect to the cast, the new cast that's dealing with all of this. So she also did not close the door and, and hinted at the fact that she would return for a future movie if the money was right, essentially. She said, I'm not just done with this chapter. She said that uh, I care about these movies. If they were to come to me with an amount that I felt in keeping with the value that I bring them, I would certainly consider it. I care about these new directors, Matt and Tyler, of course. They did such a great job on the last one, and I wish them luck. She said this young cast, it saddens me that my departure might have some effect, but at the same time, I needed to stand up for myself. So I hope that they still had a good time and good experience on the film. I wish them well. It was just unfortunate. It's not how it should have gone, and my my feeling truly is, had I been a man in this franchise 25 years, five movies, the offer would have been very different. Now, here's the thing about those comments. I am very glad to hear her make comments about her respect for the directors and the, and the young cast dealing with all this. The reason this makes me happy is because at the end of the day, there are a certain niche of fans. I will call them the Prescott cult, the Sydney cult. Shout out to you, Juden, because I got it from you. <laughs> This idea that the directors and the cast need to be bashed and, you know, just harassed and criticized and bullied or whatever you want to call it because Nev Campbell isn't in the movie is completely sickening. It just highlights a, a lot of ignorance that goes on within fandom and just general public, I will say in general when it relates to filmmaking. They have nothing to do with this, nothing to do at all whatsoever with her paycheck. Why would um, any of them take pleasure in her not participating in the project as well? Now, I will also say this. I do still believe that Nev Campbell will appear in the movie. I have no problem being wrong if she does not appear in the movie in March. The thing about it is, again, if the theory that is going around about what could be happening is still going to play out in March and end up being true, this would only be them furthering what the theory is. And the theory is that she has indeed signed that secret deal. She is under an NDA. And she is going to always mention this and double down on this. She will not come out and tell you that she is in the movie. Now, here's the other thing I've seen people saying. Oh, this is such a bad publicity stunt. I can't even disagree with you at this point that it's a very bad publicity stunt. That doesn't mean they aren't going to still commit to it full throttle. Why would they do that? I mean, honestly, big company like Paramount, big studio like Paramount. Why would you admit that you caved to a negotiation tactic by any other way other than getting people to go out and see your movie and you can show them that you caved to what Nev was doing by them getting shocked and surprised when she appears at the very end of the movie? I believe that she will still appear in this movie. Now, if she doesn't, then she just doesn't. And again, I have no reason. To, I have no issue with being wrong. I just fully believe she will still appear in the movie. I'm glad she made these comments about her respect for Matt and Tyler because I've seen a lot of people target them. I've seen a lot of people target Melissa Barrera, seen a lot of people target anyone else involved with the cast that's not Sydney Prescott. I've seen a lot of people just say that, well, if it's not about Sydney, then they shouldn't even be doing this movie. Here's the thing. These same people that say stuff like that, they can't give you a well thought out coherent narrative as to what they would do with Sydney. They just want to see it. They just want to see Sydney. Sydney in any shape or fashion because she is the heart and soul of the franchise yet they cannot tell you what is there left for her to do 
they can't tell you that i've done a video talking about how they could easily do a scenario in which you have a killer who's targeting og survivors and they could be they could be doing something where the where the franchise is finally acknowledging the exploitation of all the stuff that's going that goes on in this universe with the stab films gail weathers books sydney prescott even in, in a way with her out of darkness novel and the stardom that she that she has attained all these different things could be addressed with a motive like that and that's a very easy way to put sydney back into the focal point with a motive like that where you have someone that wants to take out any and all loose ends that constantly lead to to these new killing sprees happening and they're tired of the exploitation of all of it in my mind i'm thinking of leslie mocker being that killer i'm very glad that um nev campbell made these comments because a lot of the animosity and the hostility towards this crew is only going to worsen over time if she continues to bring it up of course because there are those people who do not care they don't care they don't have respect for what's happening with scream six unless it has something to do with nev campbell and that's of course disrespectful to matt and tyler that's disrespectful to the cast and crew they don't care i don't really care if they care or not either i'm just saying what it is attacking them is wrong they have nothing to do with that and if you go out of your way to still do that after saying that you're a big fan of nev campbell well i guess you're only a fan of it when she's doing things that that fuel you wanting to act like a fool and an entitled idiot online so again i'm very happy she made these comments i do believe she will still be in scream six and again the notion that if it's not about sydney don't make it is very stupid because again there's a lot of people who will say this and they are they will fail to give you a narrative and a motive that is something that lives up to why she would even be the focus again coming up with all these things about marine prescott once again or billy loomis for her and all these other digging up all these other sequels with marine all these years later no that that chapter is closed that is that is over with or even going down the route of something related to sydney doing something that would make the character ultimately kind of hypocritical in a lot of ways and kind of tarnish some of her development over the course of the over the franchise i don't want to see anything like that the thing that makes the most sense to me right now is an exploitation motive where someone is targeting the original survivors they want to put an end to all of this that's a very easy way to get sydney back into the focal point and i hope they do that for scream 7 this is a great franchise that has a perfect opportunity to talk about and commentate on exploitation let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video